Okay. It is Monday, October 19th. I hope you had a happy weekend. All right, we have a couple things to tell you about today. We have two meetings. One is at 9.30 this morning, and that is the Special Open Corporate Members Meeting. And then the second one that we have today is at 1.30 this afternoon, and that is the GRF Media and Communications Meeting. That's a committee meeting. And if you'd like to follow along on that, you can go to lagunawoodsvillage.com forward slash meetings to follow along with those. On our show today, we have Jeff Parker with a Laguna Woods Village update. And then I am going to give you a restaurant update. Uh, there's a few that have opened. They've got some great specials for you and they're all following the CDC guidelines. So we'll highlight some of those in the local area. But first, let's go ahead and give you those resources we normally do for COVID-19. You can follow along at covid19.ca.gov. That is where you can get all of the governor's Opening, reopening, closing, whatever plans he has coming up, you can follow along there. OCHealthInfo.com is the one that we regularly go to uh, for all the COVID numbers, where you can get them by city. Then you have the hotline, 714-834-2000. Or you could go to our website, which is LagunaWoodsVillageAlerts.com. We update that on a regular basis for all your local information. You could email us at info at LagunaWoodsVillage.com if you have any questions. Now, wasn't the weekend so lovely and pleasant? Not hot, just lovely. So this week we're looking at same kind of temperatures. In fact, it's even gonna be a little cooler by Friday. So we're looking at 80, 64 today, very pleasant tomorrow, 80, 63, 78, 63 Thursday, 75, 62. And by Friday, we're at 74, 62, looking at a lovely weekend. So wonderful weather this week. All right, our sunrise this morning was 6.59, and our sunset will be at 6.12. And our photo was sent in by Michelle Mitzel. Look at her cute little Chloe, just an adorable little doggy who's up there in age right now, but she's taking very good care of Chloe. And if you have a photo that you would like to share with us of your beloved pet or an animal in the wild, please email it to lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. All right, when we return, we'll have Jeff Parker, so stay tuned. As a friendly reminder, cast your third mutual ballot by using a dark pen to fill in the oval. Place your ballot in the secret ballot envelope, then Insert into the yellow postage paid return envelope and seal. On the back of the yellow envelope, sign your name. Mail in plenty of time to arrive before November 2nd. Or hand deliver to the community center ballot box by November 2nd. This is an important election proposition. Please vote. Communities are starting to feel the financial impact of COVID-19, commonly called coronavirus. But we want you to know that there is help. We have disability insurance for workers who are ill or medically quarantined due to COVID-19. Paid family leave is available for those caring for an ill or medically quarantined family member and unemployment insurance for reduced hours or lost work. We're all in this together. For information on how to stay healthy, visit covid19.ca.gov. This election, all Californians will be able to vote safely from home. Every active registered voter will receive a vote by mail ballot with a unique barcode. You can track it using Where's My Ballot, and you'll receive automatic notifications by text, email, or voice call to let you know the status of your ballot once you mail it, drop it off at your polling place, or at a drop box. Vote by mail ballots. Simple, safe, secure, counted. Learn more at vote.ca.gov. United Mutual members, here's what you must do to ensure your votes count and are not disqualified due to unsigned ballots. With a black or dark pen, fill in the oval to the right of the candidate's name. Do not mark an X or a check mark or your vote may not count. 
Place your ballot in the secret ballot envelope and seal. Do not write on this envelope. Insert the secret ballot envelope into the pink postage paid return envelope addressed to United Laguna Woods Mutual and seal. On the back of the pink postage paid return envelope, provide your address and signature on the signature line and mail. Unsigned return envelopes will not be counted. Mail-in ballots must be received at the post office box by 11 a.m. on November 2nd. Hand-delivered ballots placed in the ballot box in front of the community center must be received by 5 p.m. on November 2nd. Call the Inspector of Elections at 855-240-0363 if your ballot is lost or damaged to have a new ballot mailed to you in one to two business days. here and he's got some Laguna Woods Village updates for us. Happy Monday. Hey, good morning to you. Here we are again. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start off with a few COVID numbers. Hopefully yep. they're a little bit better. They, they have um, gone down just slight okay. from Friday when we talked. Um, so we're talking on the, on the board there. You see the hospitalizations at 162 and the ICUs at 59. Those both are down a little just a little bit from what we saw Friday. So that's that's a good number. Um, up there in the orange, a real good number, no, no good. reported deaths, so that, mm -hmm. that, that's nice to see. Mm -hmm. And so, um, trending in the right direction. Uh, again, the, the big issue for the county right now is that they, they still have to get over the per $100,000 right. uh, 100, units um, calculation. So, if they can get that below four, uh, then, then they have the chance to go into that substantial tier, which is tier. Oh, we're still at um, 4.6. Where we're though. at now to go into that moderate tier, which is tier three. But they got to get that 4.6 down to below four. And that's not changing. I mean, that's kind of been steady it's now. It's been for... there, um, and that's because everywhere has seen that spike in new cases. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout the United States, it's being seen even more than California, which right. is a good thing. Um, and I think that r relates back to, again, um, everybody wearing their masks and social distancing has right. been pretty effective here in, exactly. the, in the state. Exactly. The more you open up facilities, though, the greater risk you run in the spread of mm -hmm. the virus. So that, that's one of the things that um, when we had the last holiday, we saw that spike back up. But that's a challenge. So if we can get that 4.6 down, um, Orange County can get that down below 4 then mm. it's possible to go into the moderate tier. What I mentioned on Friday, though, that's interesting is another caveat for the governor is that he's also basically saying you, you have to look at your worst case scenario in the county, like a census area or a mm. zip code area. Oh, right. And if you have, an, let's say that in that area, it's five instead of 4.6, you got to get that number down to below four, too, not just an average of the county. So you, mm. your hot spots need to get down too right. before they're going to allow you to move to that next tier. Oh, well, I mean, obviously we have no control over the other cities, especially right. when you have concentrated cities like Anaheim. Right. I mean, they had huge numbers there. Even in Newport Beach, there were large numbers. So how is it that we can influence those areas? Well, I think, uh, it, again, sending the message out that what works. And, right. and that this community has done a great job. Even our cases are at 70, which still is basically the same place it's been. Mm -hmm. We did have one additional death reported, so we have a, mm -hmm. we're at eight. But those numbers are very, very good. And, right. and so South Orange County has been pretty good. We've had a little spikes in San Clemente and, and here and there. Um, but overall, South Orange County has done really well. It's in the higher density population areas right. that you see a little bit of the spiking. Well, I know that we'll be talking to Lisa Bartlett and our assemblywoman and things like that, so hopefully they can shed some light on that particular situation because we want to make sure that everybody knows, look, we're doing a great job, so should you, so sure. that we can get that number down and it will benefit everybody. Exactly, and we want to make sure that everybody's doing it because people don't just stay in their community. You know, they, right. they go out to shop, they go out to eat, um, they people from L.A. County come into Orange County, same mm -hmm. way Orange County goes out to other mm -hmm. counties. So it is the potential of spreading that that is so critical to that social distancing, the wearing the mask, and, and hopefully in the not too distant we get a vaccine. Exactly, you know. exactly. All right, well, thank you for the information on that and the numbers. Now there's an outage. 
here in Laguna Woods Village. Tell us about that. So we've had a network outage that, um, that has um, crippled our e email system right now and, and the phones uh, yesterday. Now some of the phones are back um, and I want to make sure that if a resident has a security issue that they call security, that phone's working um, and that's 949-580-1400. Okay. Um, and so if you have a security question within, within the village, um, give security a call um, okay. that, that will um, uh, also address the issue of gate clearances. They can go that route too. Okay. They can use Dwelling Live to, um, they can still go on oh, our so website. Oh, so that's still available. So okay, that's good. Still available. It's just the it's email just our system? emails okay. right now. Right. And then the phone system was also down and that's starting, we're working on that to get that back up. Okay, um, great. So that may be, by, as we're talking, uh, getting in back. Um, but I also want to tell residents in any case, whether our email's down or our phones are down, if you have an emergency, call 911. Okay. Um, don't hesitate to do that. Don't think that, the, oh, the phones aren't working or anything like that. Maybe calling our phone system with res resident services might not work. But if you have an emergency, call 911. Don't okay. hesitate. It's very, very important for your health. Okay, and, and we are not sure exactly when that's going to be up and running. I, I don't have anything at this point in time as to okay. we're working on it diligently. Our IT department and staff are, have been working overnight on it, uh, so okay. we hope to have it up as soon as possible. Okay, excellent. All right, good. What else do you have? I just wanted to mention that uh, as we talked about COVID-19, 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 but it, we're entering flu season, yes. um, which impacts people um, sometimes as severely as um, potentially COVID-19, because you may not get 19, but you may get a severe flu. Mm -hmm. So over at the Florence Sylvester Senior Center, they're gonna have flu shots right. um, coming up on October 30th. Mm -hmm. um, it's up there on the screen. It's from one to three, it's a drive-through uh, right. system, and they're prioritizing it from alphabet for your last name. So A through M, one to two, mm -hmm. and then N through Z from two to three. So um, nice couple hours, get your flu shot. Um, yes. Great way to do it, drive through if you're um, convenient wise, mm -hmm. um, or you can certainly get it through your own um, doctor or medical facility uh, as well. Yeah, and, and I and got mine last weekend. You so. did, you got yours? Okay, I, well, I was gonna go through the drive through I thought maybe that would be a good idea. Go. But, 18 um, or over, 18 or over. 18 or over, 18 or over, right. And the other cool thing about it is it's sponsored by several of our uh, businesses here. Yeah. Memorial Care and Kaiser Permanente and a variety of others, but you get a goodie bag at the end. Yeah. So you should have waited. You could have gone through the drive-through and got a goodie bag. But we'll we'll have a lot more information about that because we're going to be speaking to the senior center in the next few days. That's so great. we're going to get all the information about that. But the good thing is you get a little goodie bag at the that's end. That's great. So that's all fun. <laughs> all right. I'll take it. Thank you so much. Have a good day today, and uh, we'll see you again on Friday. Sounds great. Thank you. Lisa. Okay. Now remember, even though we are having a network outage, if you have an emergency, please call 911. However, if it's just for security, you can call 580-1400. We'll be right back. and gold. Consider it sold. The jewelry box of Lake Forest will buy your gold, diamonds, fine watches, coins, and sterling service wear, regardless of condition. With metals at an all-time high, now is the time to sell. Visit us in person or shop online from the comfort of home. Silver and gold. Consider it sold. At the jewelry box, it's about trust. I'm going to do it today. What? All of it. This is your time. You're ready for what's next. And what's next doesn't include compromise. Don't you have a doctor's appointment? Yeah. Introducing Ava, a new Medicare Advantage plan from Alignment Health Plan that gives you access to a primary care doctor and specialist from the comfort of your own home with 24 hours a day, 7 days a week concierge service. Benefits include no monthly premium, 
dental, vision, and a $0 copay to see a doctor with low out-of-pocket costs, full drug coverage, pet care, and more. Plus over-the-counter dollars and a Part B premium give back of $50 per month. It's the plan built for your time. What next? Well, that novel ain't gonna write itself. Those who are Medicare eligible can call us at 866-628-9431 for more information and your free no obligation gift. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. As a professional licensed realtor, you have worked countless hours to ensure your reputation is the best. Your clients know they can trust your judgment, that you'll be around when they need you, and that you will deliver what you promise. In escrow, one company has set that same standard for excellence. Escrow Options Group offers more than just outstanding escrow services, white glove concierge services, wire and fraud protection, custom estimates, and more at no extra charge. Choose the company that mirrors your professionalism. Escrow Options Group. Experience a better option of escrow services. At Freedom Village Assisted Living, we provide loving care and support when your loved one needs it most. We believe in laughing more and caring more. Dining will be an experience, not just a meal. We offer opportunities to create new memories. Your family will feel like they are part of our family as we work toward creating an extraordinary difference in lives worth living. To schedule a tour and complimentary lunch and for more information, please call us at 949 949- 3408108 or visit our website freedomvillage.org Restaurant update. So we have a few restaurants in the area that we wanted to give you some information about some specials, some special hours. So we're gonna start with Laguna Cafe. So Laguna Cafe is now, you know, opening and it has been open now for a while and they have some specials that we're going to show you uh, right on this slide that's coming up right now. <laughs> Laguna Cafe has a variety of different specials that are going on. Then we also have another restaurant called Woodfire and Woodfire is now also available they're open too and we've got uh, Yolanda's and Yolanda's is another restaurant here locally that has some delicious food that you can join in and have some fun there then we've got Sammy's and Sammy's is a Sammy's original has limited indoor dining they have patio dining daily specials and they have a happy hour Monday through Friday from 2 to 7 p.m. also they have horse race wagering as well, and they have live music and karaoke. Now, of course, when you walk in, you will be using your mask, and then once you are seated, you are able to take off your mask. So let's go back and look at a couple more slides there so I can give you some of the address, uh, ad or you can see the addresses and the hours. So right before Sammy's is Yolanda's, so we'll go ahead and take a look at Yolanda's Cafe and Catering, limited indoor dining, patio dining, daily specials, and they do have delivery and curbside takeout. Then we have the Woodfire Kebab Restaurant, and that also has patio dining. Curbside pickup, they have 12 to 4 lunch specials, so you can go ahead and do that. Reservations are available, but I don't think it's necessary. And then Laguna Cafe, which again, they have limited indoor dining. Then that's not by choice, that's because the governor still says they have to be, I believe, at 25%. But look at the nice, uh, delicious meals. Monday, lasagna, Wednesday's meatloaf, Thursday is a chef's choice. And then last but not least, probably your favorite because of their breadsticks is Olive Garden. Indoor dining is available at the limit, limited capacity that we mentioned. Lunchtime favorites are from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Of course, you can do the car side pickup if you're not comfortable eating in. They do have wine and beer available to go. Go figure that that's something we'll be doing. Never thought we'd see that day. Anyway, those are your restaurants that are locally opened, and we'll uh, do that again maybe later in the week to remind you before the weekend so you know what restaurants are available to you. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to have the movie and a couple more announcements.
cups, plates, burgers, chips, masks, outdoor air, six feet of distance, as few people as possible, and plenty of hand soap. Make sure lowering the risk of spreading COVID-19 is on your list for your next small gathering. Do your part to lower the risk. the trend from Irvine Clinical Research. I hope that during this pandemic that you're doing well and keeping safe. During these times, I want to let you know that we're still offering memory testing at no cost through Healthy Brain Consultations. If you or your loved ones have concerns with memory loss, you don't need to leave your home to chat with me. We're offering these consultations online. Call us at 753-1663 to schedule your Healthy Brain Consultation video chat. Thank you so much and take care. Get your vote by mail ballot. You can stay healthy and fill it out from the safety of home. Or you can fill it out anywhere. It's easy to mail back. You don't even need a stamp. Or you could use an official drop box. You can even drop it off at the polls. Then track it to confirm your county got it. <laughs> See, they got it. Mail ballots are the simple, safe, and secure way to ensure that your vote is counted. For the sweaty faces and the hidden smiles, the foggy glasses and the sore ears, the determined looks and the muffled laughs, a simple piece of fabric makes a big statement. I care. Let's all do our part to slow the spread. Wear a mask. Learn more at covid19.ca.gov. Well, our movie for today is Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Now, that is starring Sidney Poitier, of course, and Katherine Hepburn, when Joanna Drayton, a free-thinking white woman and black doctor, John Prentice, become engaged, they travel to San Francisco to meet her parents. Uh, they uh, meet the parents. Matt Drayton and his wife Christina are wealthy liberals who must confront the latent racism the coming marriage arouses. Also attending the Drayton's dinner are Prentice, Prentice's parents who vehemently disapprove of the relationship. So obviously that is uh, kind of of the times of when that was made and that was brought to you by City of Hope. All right, let's take a look at some uh, things that are going on. We have a town hall meeting on October 22nd. And that will be live here on our television station here, Village Television, October 22nd at 9.30 in the morning. Now, they ask that you email the questions ahead of time. No mess. Vote yes at lagunawoodsvillage.com. And, of course, you could call in your questions or comments to 949-354-4199. Now, the electricity uh, company has a subsidy that they would like to tell you about. Qualifying households can apply for a refund or rebate of your electricity costs that happened between March 1st and August 31st of 2020. Now, the deadline to apply is October 21st. Now, that is, that is coming up in a couple of days. And you can visit the cityoflagunawoods.org forward slash COVID funding. Now, for new residents who are either in 3rd Laguna Woods Mutual or United Laguna Woods Mutual, there are a couple of new resident online orientations. Wednesday, October 21st at 4.30 is for 3rd, and Friday, October 23rd at 9 a.m. is for United. So check the website lagunawoodsvillage.com for those uh, 
those, those resident orientations and links and things like that. Okay, we have an interesting thing that's gonna be happening here. It's a prescription return. Now the prescription return is being held by the city of Laguna Woods, the Orange County Sheriff's Department and the Drug Enforcement Administration. It is going to happen this coming Saturday, October 24th from 10 in the morning to 2 p.m. And it will be held at Laguna Woods City Hall, which is on El Toro Road. What they want you to do is to bring unwanted, unused and expired prescription medications that you no longer are needing and they want you to dispose, you know, they will dispose them dispose of them for you and they're not going to ask any questions you just hand them over and probably drive away they would ask that you don't bring any sharps marijuana or pressure canisters as they have no way of, of getting rid of those however if you want more information you can call 714-647-4133 a couple of other things the flu clinic that um, Jeff was talking about we have a flyer on that and that's the Florence Sylvester Senior Center that's October 30th and he mentioned A through M is one to two, N through Z is two to three. It is a free clinic, so you can't beat that. So you definitely have drive through clinic, as he mentioned. You're gonna go at the times that are there, and then of course at the end, you're gonna get a nice free goodie bag. So make sure you um, do that. And one last fun thing is Halloween is only two weeks away. So you've got plenty of time to decorate your golf cart. Look at how cute these golf carts are. One is Jurassic Park, love it. And the other one is Fred Flintstone. So get super creative, decorate your golf cart, sign up for this really fun event that's gonna be happening on October 31st at 10 a.m. in the morning. You're gonna to need to go on ActiveNet uh, and you'll go, or you, you go on ActiveNet through the Laguna Woods Village website, go to amenities and then recreation and you can sign up for that. So uh, definitely go ahead and do that because that looks like a load of fun. All right, one last thing, weather. As I mentioned before, the weather is looking really nice. It's nice and cool this week, a little warm, but you know, not too bad. Uh, we are looking at temperatures of 80, 64, tomorrow 80, 63, Wednesday 78, 63, uh, sunshine Thursday 75, 62, and then on Friday 74, 62. So it's looking really, really nice this week. So you have a great day in the village today. Enjoy Monday, and also just a reminder that right after our program, the special open corporate members meeting will be aired live, so you'll be able to follow along on Village Television for that. If you want to watch our program one more time today, you can see it at 12.30 or 5 p.m. Happy Monday. Stay healthy. We'll see you again tomorrow at 9. Bye-bye. What's my passion? Finding balance with every dance move. The sound of the ukulele, the, the softness. My son's not verbal, but when he does talk, I need to be able to hear him. Hear well, stay vital. Hearing loss is linked to increased risk of dementia, depression, falls, and isolation. Stay engaged and keep doing what you love. Check your hearing wellness every year. Brilliant smile because of brilliant dentistry. I love her expertise, her knowledge, her wisdom, and most of all, her patience with me. We take the extra time to understand our patients' special needs and always perform the highest quality dental work at affordable prices in a relaxing and friendly environment. We perform everything from cleaning all the way to implant and sinus surgeries, all under one roof. Stop in or call and experience the brilliant smile difference.